Okay, right. good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dahlia, and it's such a great pleasure for me to speak in front of many things and Russian and Indonesian here that I want to ever forget so to just nervousness for the rest of my life. Okay, great. Uh, today I'm going to talk about one to massive company. It is Apple Incorporations. I believe that all of you here are so familiar with this company, aren't you? Or uh, many of how many of you in here are using Apple for that? Other an iPad. Or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oh my god. Eight <laughs> out of uh, twelve using Apple is more than fifty percent. So why guess you won't be surprised with this fact. If you look at the best global brand thousand and fifteen, then we find out that Apple stays in the first position stock. Well actually this is not only for the thousand and fifteen, but also for the thousand and fourteen and also thousand and fourteen. Well, what's next here? So what do you think of this picture? Yes, there has always been a long queue in front of Apple store whenever Apple launched its new product. So um, there always have been happened everywhere in the, in the Apple store. Right now Apple has uh, 481 stores across eight countries. <coughs> and even here, some people um, the sacrifice the days and night waiting and sleeping in front of Apple stores, just uh, waiting for the launch of a new uh, product generations for Apple. And like that guy, uh, he is in Berlin and says, why um, I camping for six days outside Apple store? And his answer is simply because I want to be the first buyer of Apple product oh, or iPhone 6 at a time uh, in Berlin. So this kind of fact tells us that Apple is a very successful company that enjoys a fanatical fans loyalty for all of its products. So now the question is, how does Apple achieve this kind of success? It's, it's simply not just a matter of luck. There must be something behind this, right? So today, within this short presentation, I will we'll look at the two Apple design philosophy, uh, and the two Apple philosophies, design philosophy and retail philosophy, that may be attributed to Apple's success, which may the rest of us learn from. First, let me begin with design philosophy. So we'll look at the four Apple designs philosophy, uh, or we can simply say it's Apple designs belief. Number one here. What do you think this picture means? Any idea? No, it's someone above others. So it means that it is craft above all. It means making something above all. So Apple, beginning from the former, under the former CEO Steve Jobs, uh, is always um, famous for the level of craft in all product that it designs. So Apple cares what other never cares. So it cares uh, about the simple thing that others maybe never thought about. For example, this one. Here is the motherboard. Um, to be honest, I don't really know what the function is. But the point is that this motherboard is located uh, inside our laptop. But that nobody will see it. But Apple cares about this one. They spends a lot of time designing this motherboard to be look as beautiful, to be look as beautiful as possible. So that's why uh, that's something that Apple cares about that others will want other things. Because Apple believes that simple things will leave in impressions. Like this quote, 99% of people that own the Mac will never see it inside. But those 1% that do will be impressed with what they see. That's how Apple think. Graph and Apple. Well, the second one is empathy, focus, and good. We'll look one by one of words. Here, empathy. Empathy means an intimate connection with the feeling of the customer. So here, Apple always understands the customer's want before they actually want. Maybe because Apple has a sense of empathy, so that's why Apple never done such market research. Steve Jobs said that we do no market research because we believe that 
people will uh, want to know what they want until they see the product. So Apple just want to make a great product. So this is why you buy And the second one is because I think that all of us here agree that focus is the most important thing. Focus uh, here. If you want to decide to make something, then we should eliminate all other important opportunities in order to be uh, to um, achieve the great job that we decided to do, right? And the last one is the intuitive. Intuitive means like the value. It's about how we value something. And um, Apple, the, we, we used to say that uh, don't judge a book by its cover, but Apple believed that people do judge a book by its cover. So that's why Apple always want to create a product uh, to be look good inside and outside. Like here, maybe we can understand more. We may have the best product, highest quality software, but if we present them in a slipshod manner, in an unattractive manner, then uh, they will perceive it as a slipshod. But if we present that in a creative professional manner, then they will impute the desired quality. That's what Apple means by impute. So the second one is empathy, focus, and impute. Then the third one. I don't have an idea about this picture. No? Okay. Mm. This is about ignore the credits. So far before Apple as successful as it is today, there, there are a lot of critics comes in, comes in. So for example, the latest one. When Apple decided to, app, to open their retail store, Apple retail store, then many people say that uh, it's useless, uh, it won't work, then uh, you don't have any, any experience before in retail, so you won't be successful in that and stuff and stuff. But Apple never listens to that uh, unwilling critics. So they just go on with what they want to build. Because Apple believe also that great ideas often receive violent accusations from media company. So they just go on building what I want to build. And now the last one is justify the price. So right now we are in time that pricing competitions is above the all. Um, but Apple never cares about the price. When all the competitors just want to set the lowest possible price as possible to their customer, Apple don't, does, uh, doesn't care about this because they believe that they can justify the price. Even Apple charge their customer more than twice than their competitor do. So, because they believe that they can justify their price with the value or with the benefits that the customer get from this product. So I think those are the four Apple design philosophy. Now, let's move to Apple retail philosophy. So we look at the four Apple uh, retail philosophy because right now uh, Apple is also so famous for its Apple store. So the first one here. Anyone knows what this picture stands for? No? Okay, it means think different. It seems that Apple never invents something new. For example, it didn't invent the laptop, mobile phone, or what iPad, uh, tablet, or and nor even retail. But the way Apple think is different. For example, in the retail, they don't want only uh, to provide a great product to customers but it's about how to make the customers feel good by being inside the Apple store. So Apple will think different all of them than the company for do. The second one is empower its customer. So mm, whenever uh, people in the retail store, going to the retail store, then the product 
or the merchandise that just seems like locked away from the curious soft shopper. And the shop assistants usually always try to persuade the customers uh, to buy the product as soon as possible, uh, before the customers then change the decision not to buy the product, for example. Or maybe the shop assistants uh, will get some benefit, will get commissions from uh, something, from the cut, from average transactions. But Apple never did that. So it empowers its customer by allowing them to touch everything, to see, to experience everything inside the Apple Store, and also to uh, stay as long as they want in the Apple Store. And they always develop or rely on the concept of try before you buy. So it means that each of the customer that comes into the Apple Store, they can try anything to make sure before they buy it. And the customer service also in the Apple Store is they rely on the Apple acronym, like this. A stands for app, uh, approach customers with warm and welcome. Then P stands for grow politely to get customers need. Then again P presents solutions for the customer. Then L listen for and, res uh, and resolve any issues. And he means ends with a phone farewell and invitation to return. So that's the second one. Empower the customer. Now the third one. People, uh, Apple uh, aim at enriching customers' life. So Apple Store doesn't only want to sell their great product, but it's about how to enrich people's life. So people come to Apple, uh, it's about how to uh, make uh, uh, Apple, uh, people that visitor in the Apple store become more value when it comes out. So one of the way they do many free training or many uh, free seminar in the Apple store. For example, this one. They make a personal training, a Mac training, uh, every Thursday, 6 p.m., for example. Just in order to make their customers feel professional with the product that they buy. And now, the last one is one step further. Um, many retailers think that the relationship between the customer and the seller just end with the transactions. But Apple think one step further. Apple believes that the customer's adventure starts long before and continues well after the transactions. So Apple wants to uh, create the store to be more convenient to the customers. So customers can experience uh, feeling good inside the Apple Store long before they started to purchase and after the purchase. So I think that's the last ones of the Apple retail philosophy, which means that I've come to the end of my presentations. So in order to recap, we have looked at the four Apple design philosophy. It's about craft, above all, empathy, focus, and include that ignore critics, and justify the price. And also, we have to look at the four Apple retail philosophy, think different, empower customer, great, and rich customer's life, and also one step further. So, to close my presentations, everything is important because success is in detail. Thank you.
Um, have you noticed any differences between Indonesia and Finland comparing to, um, I mean, about Apple. these Apple products? Is, are these more popular here or in uh -huh, Indonesia? Uh -huh, yes. but, uh, I think uh, it's more popular in my country. Yes, because everybody seems like to use Apple in my country. But here, I look at another brand store like Sony. But in my country, most people use you know, Apple. Okay. But we think uh, Apple manages to predict customers' desires before customers realize it by themselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do you think it happens? Uh, as what Steve just said, they just want to create a great product for the customers with their uh, because you know they are like the technicians, they they are an engineer, so they know much better than the customers do. Now uh, maybe customers never think about it, but the engineers, Apple engineers, have thought about what might help the customer in the future. So it's about the technician, the engineer, inside the Apple. Mm -hmm. so, I think that's all. Thank you. Thank you. I hope so. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs>